the reason for this is uh, to officially welcome you to the top 20 club uh, fans uh, and our panel of experts, which was me and Ross and some of the media around the area, <laughs> yeah. uh, voted you into the top 20 barnstormers of all time. So I appreciate congratulations it. to be be part of that uh, exclusive club. Yeah, and, it's pretty cool. What it, your, you know, your thoughts about, uh, I guess we'll start with the the trade in 2005 because it was probably the best player for player trade that we've made in our history. We saw what you could do at Clipper Magazine Stadium while we were while you were with Newark, and mm -hmm. uh, Keith Lupton and Tommy Herr brought you in, and you had two and a half pretty good years. Yeah, yeah, you know that the trade came uh, really surprising because it was right before I think um, like we're having a break for Fourth of July or some some kind of break that we're going on. I can't remember the exact date and everything, but. Um, but yeah, we're supposed to have a few days off and everything and then uh, got traded. And, you know, I was, I was pretty happy about it. I wasn't real happy in Newark. Um, getting shuffled around in the lineup a lot. It was kind of hard to stay consistent with everything. But um, had a really good series before that that trade, you know, and uh, and really liked playing in the stadium. And it was kind of cool, you know, growing up watching Tommy and, you know, with Ozzy Smith and all those guys being less than 100 miles from St. Louis when I grew up. So uh, it, was, it was really cool. Um, you know, got over here and fit right in, you know, as, as much as I know I did, um, you know, Tommy was really cool to play for. And, you know, he gave me a really good, like boost of confidence and everything. He's like, I saw what you could do. You know, I'm really happy having you here and, you know, you're going to hit and mow our lineup every day. You know, don't, don't worry about if you go have a couple of days without a hit or something like that, I'm not going to yank you or move you around in the lineup. So it was nice. He kind of just told me I was going to be set in the same spot, same position, and uh, gave me a real big level of comfort coming in there and um, was able to to produce and and be really happy with with where I was at. You know, the 2005 team didn't make the postseason, but at the same time, that second half, you sort of got the feeling that something special was building it. And we got to experience that coming to fruition in 06. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really cool, you know, getting used to playing with, you know, with like Quincy and uh, and Travis Haig hitting in front of me and then having Ryan, Ryan Miner in the back, you know, behind me and everything. We had a really good lineup and it almost seemed like it was set up kind of like we had the, you know, like the Cardinals lineups early on. You know, we had, you know, the two fast guys on the top and then the guys that can make contact and drive everybody in, um, you know, very similar to the way they did in St. Louis. And obviously Tommy was part of that. So he kind of agreed with that kind of philosophy. Um, we had really good guys up and down the lineup all the way through in 05. And then, you know, 06 was really nice. You know, I um, was able to, you know, to get picked up by the Dodgers, you know, the first half of the season. And um, for whatever reason, that just didn't didn't work out. Um, had some younger guys that they wanted to get some looks at and everything and came back and was just really happy to be back, honestly. Um, probably had the the best second half of my, of my life, you know, playing that season and, uh, you know, winning the championship, it was, it was really a, a good cohesive unit and coming into there, you know, it was really, really nice to have a lot of guys you could count on and, and play together and, and do well. You know, we pretty much felt like we could beat anybody at any point <laughs> and it kind of showed that year in 06. The stadium with the white towels. Oh yeah. It was really cool. You know, the, the white towels and the code red and, and everything. It was, uh, it was really, really cool. Huge atmosphere. You know, it was fun to play and tons of people, you know, even just, everybody packing the stadium, you know, all the way through the outfield and, and things like that. It made it really fun to play. And it wasn't a hard place to play at, you know, all the, all the home hometown fans were like really, really good. And it was fun to come in and, and talk with them and, and hang out. And obviously a lot of the people in the back, you know, that would hang out for autographs and stuff like that. And, um, you know, everybody always had your best interest in mind, you know, nobody was trying to, to undermine you with anything and just, wanted to lift you up and, and play well for the team. So it, it was a really fun place to play at. So now it's been on to staying in the area, but it's been on to uh, another career in another sport. Uh, tell us about how you transitioned to golf. Uh, well, uh, I, I tried my hand at, uh, at a real job, you know, for a little bit, right when I get done with baseball, I was an estimator for a construction company for a while. And then our economy tanked, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and everything went downhill. And so I, I knew I always wanted to work in golf. And I didn't want to like give up on, you know, some of the mechanics and the swing that I worked on my whole life. And, you know, so went in started working at um, you know, a couple of small courses, just get my foot in the door. And I think I was at treetop for half of a summer, just trying to get my foot in the door with it, which was a small executive course, kind of like, uh, you know, you're talking about earlier. And, uh, and then I got a job at Crossgates in Millersville and, um, 
you know, from that point on, I started getting to the PGA program, went through all that and um, got my class A PGA membership after working at a bunch of other courses in the area. Um, so I was able to work at uh, Crossgates and then I went to uh, Regents Glen. Then I came out to Blue Ridge Country Club in Harrisburg. Um, then I got to go work down at uh, Ritz Carlton in Orlando where they do the PNC Father Son Challenge. So I got to do that for uh, for a little bit whenever our greens all died. You know, we had some uh, some nasty stuff going around that, that messed up a bunch of the golf courses around here. And um, so I got a good break and went down there. And, you know, it was just one of those things where I enjoy it and it's something that I can do the rest of my life. And, you know, it was nice to <laughs> nice to get away from the baseball swing, but like work into something else because the ball is just sitting on the ground, you know. <laughs> Challenging Scheffler anytime soon? <laughs> uh, what's that? Are you challenging Scheffler anytime? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Um, I, I can hold my own pretty good. I uh, I play play decent. Uh, obviously, behind me, you can see I got the simulator set up at my house, so I hit balls in here all the time and uh, do a lot of lessons out here and work on everything with everybody. But, um, you know, I, I just I enjoy teaching more. And, you know, what a lot of people say is if you want to play a lot of golf, don't be a golf pro. <laughs> you know, if you get into it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. And, you um, I remember saying like, or seeing once I passed my playing test, you know, for the PGA stuff, um, they only require you to pass it once and you don't have to keep doing it the rest of the time you're, you're working because they know you're going to be too busy being stuck in the pro shop and everything else like that and, uh, and everything, but it's, it, it's a fun job. And, and now all I do is teach. So it, it's really cool to, you know, just work on mechanics and um, kind of teach people what I learned from baseball and then with all the training I've done with everything else. Um, very, very similar swing to some, just a few key points that are different. Well, thank you, kind sir. And, uh, uh, good, good luck with, good luck with the golf. And, uh, I play, I, I always joke, I play flog. That's golf backwards. So it's, just, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's not right. a pretty sight. That's all right. Hey, everybody starts somewhere, you know, and even if you started a long time ago, it just takes a while to get to where you want to be at. So, um, I'm, I'm sure you play better and you, and then you lead on. <laughs> All right. Don't count on it. <laughs> we'll catch up with you later. Awesome, man. It's good talking with you. All right. Likewise. Yep. Bye-bye.